world. Does that cross the line? This is utter nonsense, Pierce. Can I just answer the question? Okay, okay Pierce, check. Yep. You, got, you got genocide taking place. You got an IDF terrorism taking place. You can't say a mumbling word about 12 universities that have been leveled to the ground. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of professors have been killed. Students have been killed. You're a journalist. Yes. Have you talked about the 112 journalists who have been killed, brother? Yes, I have done. This ignorant professor mentions about 112 journalists that have been killed and other garbage. Has he been intellectually honest when he framed that sentence? For instance, why couldn't he rightfully admit the kind of journalism allowed in Gaza is Hamas approved only? How do I know this? Well, on October 7th, Gaza-based photojournalists working for the Associated Press and Reuters, and some of them were freelancing for CNN and the New York Times. They were involved, as you can see from the pictures. Now, in what sane world, professor, can you call these men journalists? Do journalists participate in lynching and possibly rape and murder? Not to mention it's been stated for a while that Hamas doesn't let any journalist in Gaza that paints them bad. And this is where I know Israel is in the right, because you also have the media in Israel, which in a lot of cases is critical of the Israeli politicians currently in office, and Jews are allowed to slam the Israeli government. But can the Hamas-based journalists criticize Hamas? So stop complaining about 112 journalists dying when you don't even know the whole truth, or worse, ignorantly conflating Israel with actual white colonialists from the past.